Welcome again, everybody, to another edition of Papa Bojo's Kitchen. Today, we're going to make marinara sauce, okay? That's a tomato sauce that's very versatile in a lot of dishes. You can use it for pasta. You can use it for um, chicken parmesan. You can use it for eggplant parmesan. You can use it in lasagna. You can use it in just about everything. Um, this is a fairly true version of it. There are different versions, once again. Um, everybody makes things a little bit different, but this is the very basic, okay? What I've got is crushed tomatoes, and I'm going to take uh, some of these. These are um, Roma tomatoes. I wish I had San Marzano, but I've got Roma. That's the next best thing. I've got onion. I'm not doing the Trinity sofrito. I'm just doing an onion and garlic sofrito. And what that Trinity is, is um, onion, garlic, carrot, and celery. I particularly don't care for the taste of carrot and celery in my sauces, so I don't use it. But if you like it, go ahead and use it. That's a traditional way of doing it. I've got some salt, pepper, and of course some fresh basil, but we're going to save that fresh basil for the last. You don't want to put it in too soon. You put it in at the very end. So let's get going and let's start assembling this. The first thing we have is a very hot steaming uh, pot. And what we're going to do is we're going to add about four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. You want to be fairly generous with that because you got a bit of frying to do. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to add uh, one medium onion or about one cup of onion. Um, I know that's a lot, but um, if I'm not going to have uh, flavors of other vegetables other than onion and garlic, um, that's what I want. And I'm going to take and I'm going to saute this over this medium high heat because I want to get the flavor out of the uh, onion until they're just about translucent and then we'll add the garlic. So the onions are pretty much translucent. We're going to turn the heat down to about a medium and we're going to add the garlic in. We don't want to burn the garlic but we want that onion to keep cooking and we now want the flavors of the garlic like the onion to now intermingle with the oil and with the rest of this. For the crushed tomatoes, you're going to want to get the whole tomatoes like this, whether you get them in a jar or a can, and you're going to want to crush them by hand. Now that the onions and garlic are browned, we're going to add the crushed tomatoes. and stir. Add in about a half a tablespoon of good rock salt and add in about a half a teaspoon of good crushed black pepper and stir. Bring this to a boil and once you bring it to a boil turn it down to about medium heat and then we'll add the basil. So as you can see this is starting to boil and you can look and see how nice and thick and luxurious this marinara sauce is. So now we're going to add the basil. What I've done is I stacked all my basil leaves here and I'm just going to tear them. You don't ever want to cut your basil leaves because if you cut them what you're going to do is you're just going to leave the flavor of the basil right on the cutting board and you don't want that. You want all this flavor in here and if oh, you get a piece here that's a little too big just rip it apart. But these basil leaves will shrink too um, and all fold up once they're in there. So now you see this you can smell that basil once it hits that tomato sauce you can really smell that basil in the sauce. And that's it. This is your basic marinara or marinara sauce. Um, and that's all you need to do. You can use this, like I said, for a lot of different things. Now, I'm going to be using this for pasta. And, and this pasta we're going to have, we're going to be using grated Parmesan. And so what I like to do, and you don't have to do it, but what I like to do is I change this marinara by just adding about, oh, about a quarter cup 
of grated Parmesan cheese and I stir that in. And that gives it a nice cheesy flavor. Again, it, it's not a traditional marinara once you do that, but you start off with a marinara and you make it the way you like. You can add, like I said, you can add celery and carrots to it. You can add red wine to this um, and still it would be an authentic marinara. But once you start adding things like cheese or meat or anything like that, it's no longer a marinara. So I hope you try this. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope to see you again on another Papa Bojo's Kitchen. Have a great day, everybody. Bon appetito.